When you first launch the Massive Dev Chart Timer, you will enter the My Time screen. From there, select the Massive Dev Chart, where you can then choose 120 sheet film or 35 mil, and select from a wide range of films from the world's largest database of film and developer combinations. Once you've selected a film, choose a developer and a film speed. You then be presented with the timer screen. The stages of the development sequence are clearly labeled, and there's even a small step to indicate when to pour in the rinse aid. If you want to edit any part of the development sequence, you need to click the star button to unlock the edit screen. The edit screen allows you to modify almost any aspect of the processing sequence. There is also a green light mode for film inspection and a red safe light mode for lith or paper development. Press the start button to begin the development sequence. Agitation is indicated by audio pips and the rotating tank to the right of the numbers. Three short pips occur before a new agitation sequence. An alarm bell rings to indicate the end of each stage of the development sequence. Press Continue to move on to the next stage. If you have enabled the Auto Start facility in the settings of the app, this will occur automatically. OK, let's have a closer look at the settings. In the Edit screen, you can change virtually any aspect of the sequence. There's a Volume Mixer, which will allow you to determine the amount of volume required for your tank size. It will also calculate the dilution, which can be broken into four separate parts for more advanced techniques. You can change any of the sequences or remove a step. The agitation scheme can be modified. Click Save and then Done. You now see your modified time. If you go to the My Time screen, it's saved for future use. For more details about what this app can do, please come to our website and check it out.